The Man of Steel has returned to cinema, and we are all better off for it. John Harry here with AintyCool.com talking today about the latest Superman film, Man of Steel. This is directed by Zack Snyder, and he does something marvelous with this movie. He updates the iconography of the tale of Superman, creates his own um, unique vision of the character. Sure, we've seen Superman on the big screen and little screen. We've seen him in comic form, but here the story has been updated uh, to make it a little bit more modern. and the relationships between Superman and Lois Lane, his parents, his family back on Krypton, well, all of those relationships have been slightly altered uh, to create a, a new mythos of the character. He'll be an outcast. I'll kill him. No. He'll be a god to them. Are the changes necessary? Absolutely. Uh, it really feels like they're laying the groundwork here, not just for uh, more Superman films, but also a much larger DC universe. My favorite things about the film, uh, one, the action, like the last third of the movie is non-stop. And I, we're not talking action people getting punched and beat up and a few explosions. We're talking apocalyptic action. We see Metropolis decimated. Millions, millions, well, maybe a million. I don't know. A lot of people probably died in the last uh, few scenes of this film. I mean, it is uh, action beyond proportion. You can save them. You can save all of them. Also, the casting of this film, it's just its spot on. Henry Cavill is an excellent, excellent Superman. Amy Adams does, does a fantastic Lois Lane. Russell Crowe uh, practically steals every scene that he appears in as Jarrell. But the, the true star of this movie is Michael Shannon. I have a duty to my people, and I will not allow anyone to prevent me from carrying it out. It's just a pleasure to watch him get beat up by the Man of Steel. Also, I love the technical design of this film. Uh, the technology that's on display here is just beautiful. Krypton, I didn't want to leave it, uh, although we had to. I mean, Krypton, spoiler here, it doesn't survive. Um, and, and seeing its, its rise and fall, um, it's, just, it's just wonderful. Another thing I like, the Hans Zimmer score, it is just magnificent. Uh, it really sets the stage uh, for the visual style. You're the answer to are we alone in the universe. Can I just keep pretending I'm your son? You are my son. Also, I love the story that Chris Nolan and David Goyer decided to, to go with in this iteration of Superman. It's a hard character to write for. If you uh, stray too far away from the source material, you get a gobbledy mess that no one wants to see. But if you stick too close to uh, uh, Jerry Siegel's original story, uh, it doesn't really work for modern audiences. Here, they've, they've ridden the line between old school and new school here, and it just works magnificently. How do you find someone who has spent a lifetime covering his tracks? There's not a lot to hate in this movie, but if, if I had to pick one thing, it would be the script. Uh, certain plot points just seem like they keep popping up over and over again, like they're over-explained. Um, there's a, a section where uh, the Earth is being set up to, to become terraformed, uh, and we have to be told by two different characters what terraforming is and how it's going to proceed. Um, this happens in a couple of other instances as well. Um, so there's a lot of retelling the same story and the same plot points uh, in multiple ways over the course of the movie. It gets a little repetitive. Plus, some of Superman's dialogue, it's hokey, but, uh, you know, Henry Cavill, he does his best with it. Um, but, man, it, it, if the visuals weren't as strong and the music wasn't as strong uh, and the performances weren't as strong, uh, Cavill, he'd look pretty silly saying some of the, uh, the dialogue that's been written for him as Superman. So overall, I love Man of Steel. It's a beautiful film to look at. It's very earnest. It takes itself very seriously, and it does a great deal of respect to the to the core characters and the the story itself. It's just wonderful. Can't wait to revisit it again, and I can't wait to see where they go with Man of Steel 2 and possibly the Justice League. We have this wonderful cinematic universe set up now. Man, a, a new Batman trying to track down Clark Kent's true identity. That's something I would pay a lot of money to see. But those are just my thoughts uh, on Man of Steel. What are yours? You can uh, leave your comments below and keep checking in with ain'titcool.com for more news and reviews. I'm John Airy.